In this video, we will learn how we can select rows of cells at the same time and also how we can select column or columns of cells at the same time. For example, let's say we want to select every cell in column A. We can just go here on the column label or heading A here and then click and this would select all the cells in column A. And similarly, if I go here and click on column heading B, all the cells in column B will be selected. And the rows work the same way. You can click on a row number here and the entire row will be selected. And I can click on four, all the cells in row number four will be selected. And this method can be applied to select multiple columns or multiple rows at the same time. For example, I can click on column A and then using my shift key, if I go and click on column C heading, then all the three columns, all the cells will be selected. And I can click again in column, uh, using my shift key, I can click on column heading G and this would select all the columns until column G. The rows work the same way. Click on any row and then if I use my shift key and then left click on my mouse in row number five, then all of these rows will be selected and all the cells in them will be selected. Now, so far we have talked about how we can select cells which are together, which are contiguous, but let's use a new method to select cells which are not next to each other. For example, I'm gonna click on column heading A, which will select column A, and if I wanna select only column A and column C, which are not next to each other, which are not contiguous. So if I want to do that, then I will use control and click instead of shift and click, I will press control and click, which will select now column A and column C, and I can control on column heading E, and this will select column A, column C, and column E. The rows work the same way. Select any row by clicking on the row number here. And then if I want to select two and four, I would do control and then click. That will select row number two and four. All the cells will be selected in rows two and four. And now whatever operation that I do now will apply to all the cells in row two and all the cells in row four. For example, if I press delete key, you can see that the cells in row two and row four are now deleted. And let me just undo that by going here to the undo clear, or I can press control Z, which will undo what I did because I don't want to delete any cells now. Okay, so by that method, we can select cells which are not next to each other as well. And we will see a few more tips about how we can select cells which are not next to each other in our next video.